Hiya guys, it's Will here, back with an action figure review, um, specifically a Marvel Legends. Look, I've done a lot of DC stuff of late, and I thought it was only fair if I do, like, um, a Marvel Legends review as well. Uh, I don't particularly like to do reviews, by the way, guys. Uh, that's not what I originally intended for my channel, um, but I do do the odd one figures I really, really like. Um, that being said... Oh, it's a weird one. Um, I I have mixed feelings about uh, the film. Um, and some of that, I, you know, I, I, there's weird things about this figure as well. So, best thing to do is just get right into it and start talking about it. As always, though, we're going to look at the box first. Okay, so, right. Um, there's a lot to talk about. Well, there's not a lot to talk about the box, but there's some things to talk about so uh first of all you get the black widow logo at the top there it says build a figure crimson dynamo here um so it's telling you what build a figure you get in there's a warning here an age limit whatever this means and then you know you have that window where you can see everything and i literally mean everything um and this guy doesn't come with a build a figure piece um as you can see there's no place in the box for a builder figure piece but you get a lot of accessories with this guy which more than makes up for it then we have the marvel um there and then black widow which i really like the look of this um movie text that's pretty cool and then we have the character's name taskmaster um if you don't know guys taskmaster i'll say it now he's um my favorite um bad guy or villain in marvel even though you know in recent years he's a bit more of an anti-hero he's always been one of my favorite marvel characters um so i'm really happy that he's going to be in the film we'll talk about that a bit more in a minute i just want to show you that uh, on the box there and i don't know i don't actually have a box to hand um to check but uh they've put some really nice artwork here uh, on each side so the image is really nice and then if you move on the back there you go they're not doing like a product image anymore this is artwork um, it's like a cartoon drawing just like the ones on the side of the box and then I don't know whether it fits the theme of the Black Widow movie but all the other figures are done with artwork as well uh, rather than show the actual figure off so uh, I thought that was quite strange but apart from that you know all the other figures in the wave like i just said the builder figure you got the big picture here you have a read-up of taskmaster here i'm not going to do that you know it's part of buying your figure so you should probably do that yourself and then just more legal is and stuff and there's the barcode if you want that okay guys so next we're going to look at accessories this is going to be quite quick because i will show you at the end um just some posability options with the accessories so let's first look at the shield um it's done quite nicely uh, it's still got one of those old clips that people aren't a fan of um i'm not a huge fan of it surely they can come up with some better design um for this by now but bizarrely it's got a peg on it um but there's no actual place to store it well you can't see because i've got my camera lowered there you go there's no place on his back to actually store it so uh that's pretty strange that he came with that clip thing and not like a strap like the cap movie captain america um but there you go and people do say uh that this shield looks too small i have watched the trailers and it looks to me like it could be too small but it's hard to say for me yet anyway um, but there's the shield. I think the shield looks pretty good. Oh, and I want to say at least like they put this the right way this time. Um, so I'm happy with that. And you have the bow. Um, it's looking pretty cool. I think it's like a different sculpt to the uh, the one that came with Hawkeye. Um, definitely a different sculpt to the cover, um, the comic version of the bows. But uh, there you go. Um, that's that. I'm holding it upside down. Sorry, guys. Uh, as you can see, there's a little uh, slat here. And that's so that you can put the arrow in. I will say I don't really like this arrow much. Um, 
they could have maybe painted the tip of it and the feathers it would have looked a bit cooler um but apart from that it's just like it's really bendy plastic um i can't see me using this much um but yeah and then the bow we could have like an elastic string on this now because uh you know this is starting to look it just looks too thick for one and then you know plastic um i don't know it just could look better to be fair and then there's the sword sword looks pretty good um just a very basic with the orange there but it's sculpted nicely so i mean i mean that's pretty cool um and then the hands so the hands that come on him this is pretty impressive actually he has three pair of hands so he's got fist hands um and then as you can see here he has is it going to focus There we go. So he has two gripping hands, and they look pretty cool. There's one for his sword, and then one for, I imagine, the bow. That's why that finger's like that. You could use it as a trigger finger, but I think it's to hold the bow string. Um, so there you go. There's them hands. And then, like I said, he's got fist hands. They come on him with a package in. Here's his, um, what I'm going to say, our Black Panther hands. Um, and they look pretty cool. They are just reused from, I think, a Killmonger figure. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of nice sculpt on them and stuff. They look pretty cool. Okay, quickly, let's have a look at the figure. So, um, so, straight off, he has a really nice head sculpt. I'm really liking this mask. A lot of people are like, oh, you should look like a skull, but... I'm completely fine with them changing uh, the design so that it's a bit more universally friendly to people. Um, so he has that nice hood up. He looks like he's wearing paintball gear. Um, a little bit inspired by like games like Fortnite and PUBG, I guess. Um, but he's got a nice thing going on. He has these shoulder pads. Um, they don't stop his arm from going out more than any other Marvel legend, really. Uh, give or take. He has really nice deco all over him. So as you can see, he's sculpted really, really nicely, just moving all the way down to his boots. And then we will turn him round. You got this thing on the back. Why can't it just be on the feet? Um, I'm, I'm so tired of this. Hasbro, come on. You could do something different. I know you can. But uh, yep, yeah, there you go. Um, the, the hood is glued on. It's not a separate piece, but... It, it's not really an issue, really. And then the belt with the flaps. Um, aesthetically, I think this guy looks really, really cool. Especially when you get him posed up. The paint is done really, really cool. So he just looks sick. He looks really, really sick. It's it's a dope figure, this one. Um, as far as aesthetics go. The articulation is a little bit weird. But uh, we're going to talk about that next. Right, so articulation. His head can go left and right. You could probably turn it all the way around if you wanted to, but, I mean, it, it does pop off a little bit. Hold on. I'm going to get back on that ball peg. Um, he doesn't look up a whole lot. Probably that much is all you're going to get because of the hood. Um, yeah, you don't really need him to pose super well. You can get him to bury his head and look down though, you just have to be aware that there's obviously gap in, in the hood. Um, I've show, showed you already, like the arms come out that far, then you have the bicep swivel, the double jointed elbow, now I need to talk about this, I, I don't, right, this is probably going to be across the board to be honest, it's not just my figure, but um, you see how, look at that, for some reason, the, the, you can like break his arm. It just looks so strange in the both like that in both ways uh, with the double jointed elbows. I'm not sure why it's turned out that way. Um, you might have to ask someone else or if you know, tell me why it's like that. Uh, there you go, I can just show you that it's, it's on a hinge, these ones, and it will twist. The ab crunch, okay, really, really good. Um, not that you can really use it for the full extent of with the head, 
but you know it, it is really cool uh, you can use that ab crunch it does fall a bit flat on the back but it's not as noticeable as on other figures so you know that's cool um, his legs kick out fairly I would say um, and then you have the thigh cut double jointed knee and then you come down uh, you don't have no kind I'm hold on let me just double check yeah there's no kind of boot swivel at the top there but you do get the hinge and the ankle pivot okay so very quick now for posability um, as you can see like I said he comes with his fists so you can sort of get him in a, a duking it out pose it's always good characters should always come with like open hands and then fists so you have some option there that's always pretty cool here he is with the um the black panther claws um so you know you can you can get that looking pretty cool um like he's is is like uh getting ready to claw someone's face off um this guy would have really benefited from some um uh, butterfly joints in his shoulders so you could get him in that sort of black panther pose um but you know it's not possible um still cool that he comes with those hands though okay here he is with his bow and arrow and um it's just really hard to get this to look convincing um you could probably with enough time work it out um, but it, it, I don't know, it just it doesn't look super convincing. They need to come up with a better way of doing this bow and arrow thing. Uh, you could argue that I haven't really got him looking flush. But I don't know, there's just no real way of making him look super convincing um, with the bow and arrow there. It, nice that they packed it in though, I am really happy with that. Don't think I'm bashing the figure in any way. And then finally for posability guys, here he is with his sword and shield. And um, this is like the combo I like to go for more than anything, or how I have him posed. Um, that it might change a little bit. Um, like, I might try some different things with it, but I definitely like him having the sword and shield. It just looks really, really cool, uh, as you can see. Um, yeah. Okay, so finally guys, we're going to... Do comparisons so the first comparison I want to do is put him next to comic book taskmaster slash um, classic taskmaster I really wish I had the Udon taskmaster but I was never able to get that one it, uh, it was just really hard to find um, but there you go I'm loving like the new design I'm always a fan of what they do differently from the figure although I will say I always love the fact um, that Taskmaster had a skull face, um, and though it is kind of translatable on the new figure, um, I definitely love this look. It was one thing that I always really liked about Taskmaster. So there, them two are together. And here he is next to Black Panther, and this is why I said like he would have benefited from the um, the butterfly shoulders. So you know you could probably do this pose. With Taskmaster, that would have looked pretty awesome. Here he is next to a female uh, MCU figure. So there's Captain Marvel and... Um, whoa, stand up. She doesn't want to stand now. Um, I was just going to say quickly, um, there's only two figures in the wave that's got this guy that I'm interested in, and that's Taskmaster and Spymaster. Um, so, I, I, you know... The Black Widow, I might pick Black Widow up, but as of right now, there he is next to Captain Marvel uh, for the female comparison. And her, an her ankle's being weird for some reason. Here he is next to the Civil War giant man wave Captain America. Um, one of my favourite movie Marvel legends that I own. Um, and, you know... His shield does look small <laughs> compared to Cap's, but I mean, maybe it's like one of those little tiny baton shields. If you've ever played Soul Calibur, there's a character who has like a tiny little like shield on that. Maybe it's just part of the design. Um, it, it's absolutely gotten though that we're never going to see these guys actually face off because uh, Steve Rogers is retired now. Why does everything want to fall forwards today? 
But yeah, it, it guts me that we're never going to see these guys fighting because it's the thing I've been looking forward to the most since the MCU kicked off. We're not going to see it now. Here he is next to a different uh, action figure line. So there's one of the new multiverse figures right there. Here he is next to an older DC multiverse figure from Mattel. Um, the other one was McFarlane, in case I didn't say that. Um, and this is a movie figure, so it's Shazam. That's how they look. Okay, so I'm going to get up out of here now. My mum's come round to surprise me. Um, so final thoughts really quick. I love this figure. Really looking forward to the task, seeing Taskmaster in the Black Widow movie. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't turn out to be a female or something like that. Because um, I want him just to be true to the character. I want him to talk uh, in slang and have like sort of a black guy's voice. Uh, that's what Taskmaster always sounded like to me. Um, so I'm hoping they do that. Um, Yep, so I'm really looking forward to that, but this figure is amazing. Um, I, there's a few little gripes, but apart from that, he's definitely going to make my top 10. Uh, so be sure to look out for that. Um, I'm going to go now, guys. I will we'll see you again real soon. Like and subscribe and all that stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm going to review another Marvel Legends figure or a few this year. So stay tuned. Um, peace.